Do you ever feel like your fans love you so much that they want to kill and eat you, like you are physically in danger? Do you ever feel threatened? Um, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. We're live on Radio 1 here with uh, One Direction, who just... Get off, get off, yeah, this is my I'm microphone. Gonna... This guy with the crutch is trying to rob me. Um, Harry, I know you'll say something sensible. Um, how are you feeling? You, you went to the toilet. Uh, can I ask, was it a number one or a number two? It was a, it was a wee wee. Yeah. It was a number one, everybody. We can clear that. Uh, You're amazing. <laughs> right answer. So are you. <laughs> Big spoon or little spoon? Big spoon. Big spoon. Yeah. Little spoon. Little spoon. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. Boys, boys. <laughs> you two feet. You ever been there with teenage girls who love you and then her mother hits on you? Sometimes they almost like push them out of the way. Yeah. Oh, really? Sometimes the kid doesn't even want to be there and the mom's just bought the kid as like a scapegoat. Couple <laughs> <laughs> where, the, where the mums have been like, oh, my daughter loves you, and then you look at the door and she's like, <laughs> Mine says, Louis Tomlinson. Got Pat Snuggie. Yes. Taylor Swift. Whoa! Oh. You could have told me. A random Jesus. sequence of events is legendary. They felt up upstaged by Zane's hair. Now, uh, here's just a selection of some of the tweets that they... <laughs> Zane's single strand of hair is prettier than my entire face! <laughs> here's another one. Zane's hair is the reason for my tears. Saints here tonight is why I still believe in miracles. Someone was just so moved, all they could treat was this. I want to strangle myself! How about four in capital letters? There's no deeper there's no deeper meaning behind it. It's uh it's a statement, it's bold. It's capitals, it's underlined. We've now got foreplay. What? Okay, it's the game. Here we go. Oh. The Twitter foreplay game. Well, I mean, that's an interesting way to, to you know, intro in. Do you get it? Okay. Right? Yeah, I'm there. I don't know why Niall and I are kept apart. Like I don't know. <laughs> I kind of look a little bit alike. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Who's most likely to go bald first? <laughs> Wants to know what four things do you suck at? <laughs> that was weird. Do we suck at doing? We did find out we were number one in the UK and in America, but we haven't had a recent stat list, as it were, an update. Well, there's 83 unimportant countries uh, that have also <laughs> <laughs> that have also enjoyed it enormously. <laughs> I'm bad at skateboarding. Same. Right. I'm bad at speaking. I can't whistle like this. Italian. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm bad at gymnastics. Right. And I'm a bad, bad boy. Singing <laughs> is probably my worst one. Looks more like some kind of a Candyland nightmare, but I think it would be better when you guys are in front of it. What's that? A weird porno back. Well, I don't. <laughs> what kind of minor oh, porno are you watching? Yeah. All right, we'll swap and I'll do the interview. Because if we fill in time, you say, please. Um, so. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, Hi, Harry. It's really nice to have you in. Uh, How are you doing? I'm, I'm very well, thank you. But this, this is all about you guys. Of the five of you, who does the most writing? I think it's like a toss On this team. record in particular, I'd say you two did the majority of it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah we, got, we kind of go away in little teams and just go and write with people, but. It's kind of awkward to nominate yourself, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> Me! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> against boredom backstage. Okay. I have a little you have game a very with me. Very calming voice. Very yeah. calming tone. Thank Your you. Really, yeah, it does. It was feel, a compliment, I wasn't it? Very zen. Okay. There was one the other day. There was some scissors, massive scissors that someone had made, and then like a slip in a sign that was saying, "Harry, cut your hair." Why did you have to bring that up? Because they wanted you to get a haircut, but I think you look marvellous. It's revolutionary. We do this like live stream thing of the day, and you make like a joke about something, but everyone takes everything so seriously. Yes, things get taken out of Can't context. Say anything. So yeah. said as a joke that I wrote one of the songs on our new album about Liam's girlfriend. Oh, that was a joke. Okay. And it was a joke, <laughs> and it was That's taken funny. very literally. Was it really? 
Was it Even really a joke, thought. or are you now just saying it's a joke because there was trouble? <laughs> Louis and Liam co-wrote Steal My Girl, which you're going to sing for us tonight. Mm -hmm. Is that about anyone in particular? Um, <laughs> Niall, Niall, has, Niall has a habit of, of just stealing girls. <laughs> it's, it's a weird rumour, but we'll roll with it. It is, yeah, we're going to go with that yeah. one. Very strange. Yeah. yeah. Watch out. Come on. The little kids who want to meet um, Gandalf, or Gandalf's representative, rather like they want to go and meet Santa Claus in, in, the, in the shop, you know, at Christmas time. They know that I'm not uh, Gandalf. Old men. No. Yes. <laughs> old men. Yeah. But thank God people like old men, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> the ring. There's a word for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This was very fast. Yes. It was very fast. Very fast. Should we, should we do some filler? Should we do fi fill it in? A um, bit? Okay. Um, Poem. Go. There was a little boy called Harry. Mm -hmm. He came from England. Mm -hmm. And when he came to Austria, <laughs> he felt like he was from Finland. <laughs> and now? It's hard to believe that any of you have insecurities about girls. Uh, do you? Still? Yeah. At all? Yeah, I'm afraid of them. You're afraid of them? <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid of them. <laughs> afraid of girls. I think there'd be a few girls in the audience tonight who might like to, you know, help you out with that. <laughs> Meanwhile... Niall Horan. Yeah. Drunkenly fell out of the nightclub with. <laughs> Ollie Mars. Right, oh, that's Liam Payne's back up. Hey, so that wear that and little wash. It might, it might jump in So Liam's got a club in his, in his, in his bathroom apparently. This you, you know, they show such incredible support every time we have brought stuff out. Um, so yeah, we just yeah, you're right. We don't really go home that much. Um, um, Thanks for minutes. That's all right. <laughs> uh, absolutely incredible, and we're nothing but thankful for. Uh, Harris here with a question. Uh, what kind of activities do you do in hotels or on the tour bus to keep yourselves occupied? So many activities. Activities. I actually so much room. I went out and bought them. Do you know? Do you guys think it's a good idea that Zane is getting married? I just can't wait for like the stag do. It's gonna be great. Yeah, we've got to arrange it. We've got to arrange that. You're in it for the part. D Zane, you obviously must think it's a good idea. Because... I definitely think it's a good idea. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now, it is not a good idea. You keep reaching new levels, especially with your new studio album, Four. Can One Direction get any bigger? Um, I think we haven't. I don't know. I think I've, I've outgrown myself. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. About, about six foot three, you know. That's all I do. You know, I want to know what is the weirdest thing someone's done. I've done my, did my about a month ago. Maybe who knows? Yeah, it's a good one, Liam. You've changed it in my life a lot. Thank you. Yeah, it's essentials. Is this true or is this not true? It's been, it's been pretty cool. Last year we did um, arenas, and obviously this year we did. Uh, cool things about this one is that like each song might have been recorded in like three different places. I know you can't see this because it's on the radio, but all three microphones were then on Harry's face. I think this is the one we're most <laughs> proud of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, who was the last person you had sex with? Um. <laughs> Niall. Yeah. I think oh. we should stop oh, now. Wow. Yeah, yeah, me too. This is really confusing, but thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having yes. us. Yes, Thank you. Austria, Tell us some secrets about next tour. Um, no. there's, we've redesigned the stage. Niall, yeah, who is now sleeping with? Have both. you decided already? Niall's sleeping with both of the finalists. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. 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 The winner gets the brilliant. Okay, so on the tour, have you something else? What happens when you want to go outside but you have to stay in? Like, how, who goes craziest and what happens? I just don't, I just can't be kept inside for that long. It's just not, it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been quite an outdoorsy kind of person and now I just <laughs> stop it. Weirdest, like, date advert for Liam ever. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of an outdoorsy, outdoorsy kind of guy. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an outdoorsy kind of guy. I am, you know, I'm an adventurer. <laughs> it's like, take me around. <laughs> Sounds fun. I like to explore. I met Ryan Teller at the weekend and he told me that Harry's hair is extensions. Is this true or is this not true? You're a liar, right? You're a liar. 
Far from the truth. <laughs> I love them. They are good extensions, aren't they? Yeah, I like the extensions. <laughs> Do you still have things you feel like you have to achieve as One Direction? Absolutely, I think. You know, like What's missing? From early, I think. Uh, oh, um. I think I just think that if you get to the point where you feel like you have nothing left to do, then there's no point doing it. I think there's a lot of stuff that we still want to achieve and want to. Like what? Oh, I, I, I haven't finished, but. Um, <laughs>